Hey everybody, go watch me right now in the first episode of Fight of the Living Dead, the new season. Link is in the description. It's also in the card during the video and at the end of the video. So click those links and find out who dies, who survives in the Fight of the Living Dead, the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Hey, you got any flyers to pull this out for me, please? No. You don't no. got no pliers? No? No, we don't have pliers. No. Mm -hmm. no. You definitely need Scissors to or something? Yeah, you need to definitely go to the hospital. You're gonna have to... So you want to know how to prank? Today I'm with Bud, a professional special effects artist, and we're going to show you how to make your own severed eye from home. Mm -hmm. The whole process. So to do it from home, what do you need? Well, we, we tried to make it pretty basic so you can do it yourself. So you can do a plastic bag or a saran wrap, which is pretty basic. That's going to cover your eye and protect it. I've got glue just in case if we have to glue down your eyebrow, which keeps the latex away. Uh, we're going to use your basic latex rubber, which is going to cover the plastic. Where do you get eye. that from? You can get that from any Halloween store or costume store. It's pretty basic and very cheap. And then we're going to use your basic grease palettes, um, just a couple reds to make it look real nasty and tissuey, maybe some purple to add some depth, and then later we'll add some blood. So, pretty basic. So you say it's pretty basic, but how expensive is it? It's going to be like maybe 20 bucks. Some of that stuff you might have around your house too. So the saran wrap we're just using so it actually protects your eyeball, and it acts as a medium that we can put the latex rubber on. You got to remember too, is right before we glue this, you want to make sure we don't get latex in your eyebrow. So if you're doing that at home, don't do that because someone's going to be very upset. Don't tell me, tell them. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Do not put it in the eyebrow. Just don't point scissors <laughs> yeah, at sorry, people. Yeah, that, that either, not around the <laughs> eyebrow. So what happens if latex gets in the eye, an eyebrow? Well, it's a rubber. So if it gets in your eyebrow, it'll actually like adhere to it. So you may have to like shave your eyebrow oh, off no, or no, pull no, it. No. What yeah. a crazy prank that would be. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You really did it on purpose. The trimming is a little tedious, but if you do it right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that there and just mark a little more. I mean, you can make this as big as you want, but we're kind of going for a little bit more realistic, so we're gonna keep it pretty close to the eye socket. Let me get my latex open here. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue down your eye rail just in case, so you're not cursing me later. And we're just using uh, a good old washable Elmer's glue stick. You can get them from the dollar store too. All right. But this just helps create a barrier. We're gonna use the latex as almost a glue, but you can also use things like Prosaid, which is a medical adhesive, which is a little more advanced, or you can use uh, spirit gum, which is like a sap, and that's kind of old school theater. We're doing this on the cheap, so you can actually use latex as a glue. Where do they get latex from? Latex you can get at like costume stores, you can get just about anywhere, especially during the Halloween season. I'm kind of feathering the edges, because we don't want a big old hunking thing of rubber there too, so we're trying to make it kind of blend in a little bit. If you're really worried about someone's eyebrow too, you can always just kind of leave the plastic around the eyebrow and not glue it, and then we can always cover it with blood. When in doubt, you can cover it in blood. So it's up to you on how thick you want to make it. You can either make it look like there's a nasty hole here now, I think we're going to go ahead and make it look like the eyeballs have been ripped out. Our next step, we're going to go ahead and dry it down. Is there a technique to the way you blow dry? Uh, no, more or less you just got to make sure everything's covered. The biggest thing too is making sure you don't have high heat on. Oh, so I made sure too it was nice and cool. But now it's time to add the really nasty meat part oh, of the eye. All right. We're going to go right in the middle there because your eye is attached by some kind of little tendons. So we're going to take this cotton, just a cotton ball. We're going to kind of place it into the wet latex. Oh, so that's the tendon? Mm-hmm. And then what we'll do is we'll attach it with some latex, but then it'll start to kind of make it take shape. And once we paint it, it'll be real nasty. Oh, so you're going to cover the cotton with latex? Yeah. Yeah, you start getting these little weird little liney things. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it gets really nasty. If you wanted to add, attach like an eyeball, you could do like a ping pong ball, or you could just take a cotton ball and paint it and then attach it to it. Okay. We're going to make it look like your eyeball's missing. So 
So I'm just kind of stippling, just kind of just patting to hopefully try to blend the latex down a little bit more so it looks more like your real skin too. So I'm just powdering the latex because sometimes it'll be a little tacky. This will kind of help. What are you powdering? Baby powder? Yep, just baby powder. Oh, I mean, a... you can use the expensive stuff, but baby powder is just the same. It's like a setting powder. It's just like a skin tone. So we're just going to slowly add a couple of these to help blend it into the skin a little bit. Ooh, what is this? Now we're getting to the gory stuff. So I'm using a fresh cut color and we're just kind of painting in where we would think the nasty stuff would be. Now you can use more expensive makeups like alcohol makeups, the palettes, but a palette alone can cost anywhere between like fifty to a hundred dollars. So these will cost you like five to ten dollars a piece. Oh wow. Or you can get a bruise wheel which has like all four colors and then that way if you're only gonna do it once a year that's all you need and that's like thirteen fifteen dollars. I started doing a little sponging here which will add like a little bruising to help blend things down. Uh, for the goriness I'm gonna use about three to four different reds because you can also use it to the darker colors will make it look like it's shadow or you get depth in them. So you want to keep the real red stuff to the outside. Oh, and then the dark stuff on the inside. Yeah, that'll make it look like you've got more of like a hole in your eye. This is the darker stuff? Yeah, this is the maroon, which is one of my favorite colors. You can kind of see now we're starting to see the eye socket a little more. Yeah. Oh, whoa. That is awesome. What's this, the bruising? Yeah, I figured we'll make it look like something real nasty happened. Whoa, it looks good. What are you using for that? So this is just a, a sponge. So here's the original sponge, which is one of those normal wedges. And then what I do is I just pick pieces out, and you get this kind of uh, weird natural holy feel. But when you do that, it'll kind of give uh, a weird texture to the skin. So it doesn't look like a harsh edge. Well, yeah, I see what you're saying there. That looks pretty legit, man. This way we can kind of gore you up a little more. It's like I hit. Yeah. We want you to look really nasty. So we're going to add a little bit of purple. This is misty violet. But it just kind of really helps with pop out some bruising. And a bruise usually has a whole bunch of colors. So this is, I'm just going back to like maroon. And then I'll go back to maybe fresh cut and some reds. And I can just kind of tone down some of that skin tone we did. And then I can also still bring in some natural bruising and nastiness before we actually bring in the blood. Yo, this is looking gory with that drip. Nice touch, man. And we'll do a little bit of splatter. That'll be the final thing we do and that'll help kind of make it look like it popped right out. That really came together well. Oh, wow. And the bigger the brush, the bigger the spray. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a shadow or is that blood? What is that? Yeah, oh, you blood. got yeah, because okay. it would run down. I couldn't tell. Damn. Damn, man, this side of my face is like, oh, I got bashed, but then this side's like, what's up, man? How's it going, guys? Oh, not so good. Uh, ooh. <laughs> That's cool. Is this it? Is this done? I think so. Like, you could keep going, but I think we're ready to party, so... Since just match us up with your costume. If you got white teeth like mine, maybe put a little bit of uh, fake blood in there, right? Mm -hmm. You can also use, like, Kool-Aid. All this is done on the cheap. Yeah, this is all cheap. This costs, what, 15 cents? Yeah, so what so, I do? All you gotta do is just take a little bit in. It could right. be really sweet. Here's the red... Mm -hmm. Just swish it around. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Ah! Wow! <laughs> God damn. I promise it wasn't a prank. <laughs> My tongue. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> if you do darker, here, might as well. Let's do it. So what does the purple do? Purple will help. You can kind of keep it in the teeth there. Just let it get kind of wet. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Dude. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Wow, that is, oh, it's strong. Whoa, good job. Makes me hungry for brain. Dude, let me see that purple again. Yeah, because it'll stain your lips too and all that. 
Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below how Bud did with this severed eye. And uh, if you think this is in your budget. If it's not in your budget, is there any way you can make this even more affordable than what it is already? What would you do? Uh, no Kool-Aid? Yeah, no Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, eyeballs coming off. Just pull it? Yeah, you can just pull it. Oh! <laughs> uh, Whoa. Dude, that looks nasty. Yeah. This looks disgusting. What is that? It's this latex in the saran wrap, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, not bad, man. That's really well done. All right, so next up, we're gonna do a hand special effects. What we're gonna do? So I figured uh, we're gonna make it look like we've taken a bunch of screws and we've screwed into your hand. So we're gonna take screws and then silicone, which is more advanced and a more expensive technique. We're gonna mix it together and then make it look like you've got screw holes and screws sticking out of your skin. So this is kind of like being a mad scientist. So this is silicone. It's part A and part B. We have to mix them equally or it's not gonna work. So we're gonna go ahead and start. It looks like fake skin, but there's a couple steps to it. So the first one, we just have to measure it out. So you're doing half and half? Yep, just half and half. So there's our A. We'll actually just take a dab out just in case. Love it. The next step, that to the side. We have to color it. So we got these little colors here called Silk Pig. It's just like little coloring agents. And we're gonna make it look like skin tone. We'll put it in this one. Just kind of dab it in. We're gonna take our stick. Oh, so it doesn't take much color, huh? Mm -mm. And I want it a little translucent. That way it kind of looks like real skin. And we have our Thyvex ready, which is just like a thickening agent. We'll add that right before we mix the two together. And so then what we'll do is we'll mix these two parts together and then we'll start applying it to your hand. Now silicone has a temper too. So depending on its day, it'll set up on its own time. So we'll, we only have like, sometimes it's five minutes, sometimes it's two minutes. The window can be short. So you wanna make it light. It can go over hair too, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just make some spots where we want the screws. Earlier we snipped the ends of the screws so that way we're not actually hurting you. You'll make a big gash to where the screw came through over here. But right now it's just really kind of thin and watery because it's just kind of doing its thing. It's all a chemical reaction so we're just waiting for it to set up. This is just alcohol. I'm gonna use to make sure too we can kind of keep things thinned down. What are you doing with the alcohol? I'm just spraying it on my finger right now and you can kind of thin the edges so it kind of blends into your skin a little bit. I'm also making sure we get some like really neat rivet textures from when like the screw came in. I'm kind of building that up right now so you can see like it looks like it's underneath the skin. And I'm also making sure we have some little holes to where screw went in and you drilled it back out. We're just making it look like real skin and it doesn't look like much just yet. Just kind of building a prosthetic out of it. Our next step we're gonna powder the prosthetic so we're just using baby powder. We're just applying that to the rubber or the silicone. So a great thing about silicone is you get to use things like alcohol palettes and Temp2 and Skin Illustrator are some of the best and these are activated by using 99% alcohol. So you'll see these a lot on movie sets because they're really hard to sweat off. So if you're on a zombie flick and you need to have it last a while, you can use alcohol. I'm just going to go ahead and start to, it's almost like staining. Kind of giving some irritation here first. We're going to slowly start to color the pits where the screws kind of gnawed in. So I'm just bringing the color up here and then I can kind of dab it on the silicone. So it'll give it that kind of blotchy irritation. All right, so we're gonna keep dabbing. And that's just kind of getting the color a little wet there. And I just use my fingers. You can use a brush if you don't wanna use your fingers. It's all up to you. And we keep spraying the alcohol because we need to keep activating it. Just kind of give it a look over to make sure I blended everything down overall. Whoa, dude, that looks real. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, cause you can move with it. Whoa. So you can also freckle or, or do some speckling here just to kind of fake out the camera and the human eye because skin has 
little bumps and colors and freckles. So this is just kind of a way to bring that to life. I'm impressed. That does look pretty gnarly. Yo, this looks great, guys. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below how Bud did on this special effect with the screws. I think they look awesome. And I love that I can move my hands around and, like, make it shake. Like, oh, my God. I think we need to uh, probably tighten one of these, though, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> also, check out Fight of the Living Dead coming out August 17th on YouTube Red. There'll be links in the description below. Check out the end card. Now, let me show you some examples of how these things work out in the pranks. His hand. I just get some, like, yo, you got some, like, pliers, you can just pull it out. Dude, I think you need to go to the hospital. No, 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 no. It's too expensive, man. I just need to pull out. I get pliers and just pull it out. Dude, we, uh. His hand? I just need like a pliers and just pull this thing out for me. Pliers? No, we have the first aid. Like... No, that's just band-aids, man. I just need something like a plier to pull this out. Yeah, let's get the... Uh... Oh, I mean, we run out of hardware and get one, but... Like, yeah, just, maybe just... All right, I'll go get one. Here, yeah, use those scissors. That's good. Let me see those scissors. You want to try the scissors? Yeah. yeah it's just... good. It's going to pop out. I've done that Just before, pop this guy. Know. Hey, you want to you wanna do it for me? No. You sure? I'm good, bro. Maybe you should pee on it before I so yeah, disinfect I'm, it. I'm too on that. Holy crap. That's it? I mean, I'm not worried about that. Oh, okay. It's totally fake. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's makeup. Oh, sh so right. <laughs> man, you're still man. That cool, dude. Yeah, that's pretty rad. <laughs> let me see. let me get a picture. Right on, man. Good job. Thanks, right. dudes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you already got the front end over there? Oh no, I haven't gone that You're far. Yeah, do that door. You'll get a lot better reactions up at the front end. <laughs> awesome. Hey, you got any pliers to pull this out for me, please? <laughs> Can you, no. Got, you don't got no pliers? No? Oh, oh, no. Okay. You Scissors or something? Yeah, you need to definitely go to the hospital. You don't have to go to the hospital. No way, it's too expensive. To to I can't afford no Vegas. hospital. Go to a doctor. Or just pull it out? Go no. Earth. Will this go thing work? Just staples. That's staples. No. 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 Let me. Oh my God. Let me. No, no. Oh they're they're gonna no. charge. No, don't call nine one one. No. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing with you. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, I'm like, you need to go. Oh, please. That cool? If you say so. It's makeup. Oh, that looks horrible. Not awesome. Getting ready for the holiday. Yeah. That awesome. looks horrible. <laughs> hey everybody, make sure you go down to the comments and give Bud Strauss a lot of love because he really screwed my hand up. He did a fantastic job. Please give this video a thumbs up and check out my exclusive clip to Fight of the Living Dead, the new season. First episode is up right now. Tap the link in the description or at the end of the video. He doesn't work. We're trying all these keys and none of them are working. Watch out, watch out. You can't break it, you can't. You can't. Then all of a sudden Dennis just charges at the gate and just breaks it. What do you think? We got it, we got it. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah man, it's awesome, bro. Copy that.